and welcome back to my channel. This week, not only did I just go see Ready Player One, but it's also Second Life's 15th year anniversary. And seeing as the last time I logged into Second Life was approximately four years ago now, which was, I think, when I finished reading the book Ready Player One, I figured now would be a great time to re-download, reinstall, and actually start a new character entirely. This is an entirely different format to what I usually use this channel for, however, I thought it'd be a lot of fun. And this is just one of the many portal hubs that exist. We're gonna start with editor's picks because I think that's gonna put us in the right place for just things we wanna see while we're filming. <laughs> oh, Easter Bunny Trail. We have found ourselves an Easter Bunny Trail and we're gonna let the world load for a second here. All right, we've collected the uh, Easter Bunny Trail HUD. The HUD is just this thing that goes on top of your screen here and it keeps you on track of whatever you're currently doing. So since we're currently searching for Easter eggs, that's on top of our screen. And this is the pretty little Eastery world they've created for us. Isn't it gorgeous? I think it's gorgeous. It's just so cute. Hi little guy. Little plushy rabbits. That is on the shelf behind me. <laughs> the Golden Girls. That's great. Well, I found the next one, if it will load, right here next to this tree. This event is meant to raise, encourage donations and raise money and awareness for autism through uh, the charity program, The Little Engine Who Can. So that's pretty cool, and I'm definitely gonna leave a little donation before I leave. Since it's giving me trouble actually recording, uh, recording and giving me the world at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this hunt and I'll check back in with you after I find all the eggs. Just look at this cute little piggy. Look at him. Look at him trying to put makeup on. He's so cute. What about this one? What's this one doing? This one's covered in mud. He's so cute. What about this one? Prancing in a flowers. He's prancing. He's so cute. Anywho, um, found most of them so far. I'm on, uh, I think I'm on number 19. Hang on, I wanted to keep that minimized. I keep referring back to it. And yes, I'm on number 19. So don't let me bug you be somewhere over here. I thought it was next to the fairies. playing Christmas music. It's kind of the funniest thing. Ha ha ha! I found it. Next to this little guy here. It looked like my D&D uh, &D character mixed with Fern Gully. I like that guy. Alright. That leads me to... No, these piggies are just roughhousing. Look how cute! Number 21, which is... I've got tunnel vision. Hmm. Oh. The HUD left an egg on the screen. There we go. Tunnel vision. Gotta be in this little tunnel of trees. Gotta be. Oh. In fact. Ta-da! Last one, rocking out. Ooh, 
would be probably next to rocks. I'm gonna go with that's literal, somewhere next to rocks. <laughs> Let's see. Which set of rocks we don't know. We're gonna find out. see it underneath this tree actually. No. Nope, that's the horde. It's definitely not in the horde. Are you gonna let me click on you? No? Oh, it gave it to me. Pretty sure that means it gave it to me. Okay, so... After I find all of them, click the special egg to be awarded the final special final prize if you got all the eggs in the event. Okay. Which is which is where? Oh hello. Hello there, Ben Ben. Somebody made a grr sound. What? So I just helped somebody else find a bunch of the eggs. And now I'm just trying to find the special egg that I clicked on to claim my prize. Which I assumed was in here. But now I'm not so sure. There's a special egg. Oh! I tumbled into a hole. I didn't know I could tumble into a hole all of the eggs in there. <laughs> so many eggs. Oh, is that the special egg? Uh. Yay! Keep, what's the final price? Oh, right, it's in a box. Hunt. <laughs> Part of the game now is that now that I have completed this bunny hunt, I can- Oh, the horse finally got up! I can hang out and help other people find some things. At least, as long as I feel like still being here. So, oh, I can't suit up- I can't sit on the haystack? Can I sit on the fence? Sometimes it'll let you sit in very weird places. And it's always my favorite thing to find a spot. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm sitting in a tree. I'm not supposed to be able to get that high. Um, but it's always my favorite thing to find a very strange spot. And then I can zoom in down below on the ground and help people find things from there. And now I am essentially a fly on the wall helping everybody else do the bunny hunts, right? All right. Anywho, that has been my introduction to Second Life. It's the closest thing to the Oasis that we currently have. And last I checked, they're trying to figure out how to make it work in your virtual reality Oculus Rift thing. I'm sure there's a way to do that. I do not have one to try, but if you do, let me know how that works. So, well, guys, this has been fun. I may or may not still be on Second Life for a minute, um, but I also may or may not be logging in from time to time once again now that uh, I imagine more people are going to be joining thanks to Ready Player One all over again. So that's all for this time. 
Be sure to check the links down below to links to my gaming channel, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook page, as well as links to the big fracking gamers that I've been playing with lately. Leave a comment down below of other games you think I could check out, and hit that subscription box for more videos kind of like this one, as well as that notification bell just to make sure that you're getting clued in. If not, I will see you guys on the rest of the internet. That's all for this week, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.